name is Lori Pettyjohn, and I'm an Oral Valley resident. Um, we are also a military family. My husband retired from the military after 20 years. About four years ago, we moved here to Oral Valley, um, mostly for the schools. We have a son, and we love the schools here. Uh, my family, my husband and I opposed this because even though, you know, my son goes to the school with the kids that were here that were very excited about this and we're all for it. And, you know, we all want a community center for the kids. We want something like that. But this is huge. I mean, and myself, I mean, my family right now, we have a very limited income. So we don't have a dentist, you know, income or an attorney's income or a real estate investor's income. We can't afford this. It might not seem like a lot this happens percent tax but to us it's a lot so you know we're just a I'm asking you to just think about the ones who are living on an you know an increase or a decreased income you know like the military mem families and stuff I mean in my neighborhood we have like three or four foreclosures going on this is just not the right time to do something like this <clears throat> in this economy so I just wanted to let you know that we oppose it and just ask that you really think about that not you know I mean who for instance like who can afford to go there if you're gonna charge membership fees, right, to go there, to pay for some of the employees and stuff, who can afford it? I, we can't afford to send. So I'm gonna be paying for something that we can't afford to go to and enjoy. Only those who have a high income can enjoy it. I mean, is that how it works? So just asking you to think about that before you, you know, at least let the people vote on it. Let us have some say-so in it. Thank you. Thank you. 